Are you tired of Wi-Fi dropping out exactly when you need it the most? Or are you dealing with dead zones in the kitchen or barely able to load YouTube in the upstairs office? Well, if you are, then you're in luck because I'm putting the Deco B63 through some real world test just to see if it can finally end those headaches. Today, I'm taking a closer look at the Deco BE63, a Wi-Fi 7 mesh system promising stronger coverage, faster speeds, and better stability across multiple floors. In this video, I'm testing it in real world conditions to see if it's actually worth upgrading, especially if you're dealing with weak signals, slow downloads, or a house full of too many smart devices that are, you know, fighting for that spot. Now let's take a closer look at this device. The exact model of this device is the Deco BE63-10000. This is a Wi-Fi 7 tri-band mesh system designed to replace your existing router and extend fast, stable wireless coverage across your entire home. Instead of relying on a single router sitting in one corner of the house, the BE63 uses multiple identical units, or they're called decos, that work together to create one unified network. As you move from room to room in your home, the device automatically switches between the nodes without dropping the connection. Under the hood, the BE63 supports three separate wireless bands. First one is the 2.4 gigahertz. This is the standard, which is good for smart home devices and longer range connections. Next up is the five gigahertz for everyday devices and high traffic areas. And finally, the 6 GHz, the newest, cleanest band for Wi-Fi 7 devices that can take advantage of wider channels and multi-gigabit speeds. Every unit includes 4 gigabit Ethernet ports, which means each node doubles as a high-speed switch. So the good benefit there is that you can plug in your PCs, TVs, game consoles without needing the extra hardware. There's also a USB 3.1 port for simple file storage which you can use to set up a basic NAS system. Basically, you can plug in a USB drive and you can store files or read files from it. The entire system can support up to 200 devices, which is perfect for a home that has, you know, smart cameras, has TVs, thermostat sensors, and many IoT devices. Now, I would like to thank TP-Link for sending me this unit for review. No money changed hands. They just send me the unit for review and then I'm giving my honest opinion on this device. They don't get to see this video or have any sort of input. When you open up the box, right on top you see the three deco units. They're identical, they're sitting in a line ready to be used. These are compact, modern, and neutral enough to blend into any room. Underneath you'll find three power adapters, a flat ethernet cable, a quick start guide pointing you to the deco app. All the setup and configuration will be done using the app. Hardware itself feels solid. Each unit has a clean, minimal design. And on the back, you get 2.5 gig Ethernet ports plus a USB 3.1 port, which is great for, you know, plugging in external drives and making a small NAS system. There are no weird antennas, no clutter, no long running wires. Everything is handled through the app. For the setup, first thing we need to do is download the Deco app from the app or Play Store. And then as soon as you launch the app, immediately it's gonna start looking for the device. So before you launch the app, go ahead and plug in your Deco device and let the light turn at least blue. And then once you launch the app, it's gonna start searching for it. And then, you know, it's gonna automatically add it. Next up, you're gonna be asked if this is connected to a modem which in my case it is. Next is gonna ask you to restart the modem. I didn't do that, but if you want to, you can. Next up, you're gonna create your network. So this is gonna be the Wi-Fi name in your house. So in my case, I just called it YouTube underscore BE63. Call yours, whatever you wanna call it, and then give it a super secure password. And that's it, you're done with the initial first setup. Now for the other two deco units, all you gotta do is go to the desired location the app is gonna tell you how to equally or properly place these devices throughout your home. So go ahead and place them properly throughout your home. And then you plug it in and then you wait for the blue blinking light. Once that is blinking, you can then open up the app, go on the top right hand corner, click on the plus, add device, and then that's it. Automatically it's gonna go ahead and add this device. All right, now everything is all set up and ready to go. I wanted to see what does this device has to offer versus, you know, my standard ISP provided router. 
To understand what the Deco BE63 can actually deliver, I tested in a home setup. Multiple floors, thick walls, and a busy environment with a lot of smart devices. To keep the results meaningful, I compared this directly with my internet service provider's modem slash router. The first thing I wanted to test was the range, how well this system performs when you're in the same room as the router versus when you're far away on the other end of your home. Now testing with my internet service provider's gateway, I got around 887 megabytes per second down and 355 megabits per second up. The connection was strong when you're in the same room, but doesn't take long for it to taper off as you start moving away. Next, I went downstairs into my bedroom and then the connection started getting iffy, meaning it started dropping. My videos would buffer when I played on YouTube, scrolling through, you know, Instagram or anything, it would just stop and start buffering and loading. So again, that proved that, you know, my standard Wi-Fi router from my internet service provider wasn't doing the job and providing Wi-Fi throughout my home. Anyways, when I did get a steady connection, I ran the speed test and I got around 200 megabits per second down and 100 megabits per second upload. Now that's a big difference because when I was near the unit, I got such fast speeds versus I got such low speeds when I'm in my bedroom. Next up, I did the same exact test with the Deco BE63. When I was near the main unit, the connection speeds were very stable when in the same room. Near the router, I got a 925 megabits per second down and 358 megabits per second up. And when I came downstairs into my room, the connection was pretty steady, pretty fast, no issues whatsoever. At this point, my connection switched from the main deco unit to zone one, which is near my bedroom. And that's how I'm still able to get good Wi-Fi coverage. So in my room, I got around 866 download speeds and 360 upload speeds. Even though I'm so far away, the connection was pretty much closer to what the connection speeds were when I'm near the device. So this tells me my entire house is now getting proper coverage. There are no Wi-Fi dead zones, as they say. So the bottom line is that the BE63 holds the steady connection, no connection drops like before. Okay, so with this test, I realized that I'm actually paying for a 2.5 gig internet, but I'm only getting a maximum of 900 megabits per second of total speed, as you saw with all my tests. That's the best it can do. So I definitely need to call my provider and have them come out and fix this issue because I'm not getting full speed internet for what I'm paying for. For the second test, I wanted to see how the Deco B63 handles a busy home network. The kind of scenario where multiple people are streaming, gaming, browsing, running smart devices all at the same time. This is the type of load usually you know, spots weak Wi-Fi systems. To test this, I turned on every device all at the same time. Multiple TVs streaming HD and 4K content, my iPad running a high bitrate YouTube video, streaming on my iPhone, and gaming on my gaming PC while I performed these tests. All of these were happening at the same time. Under heavy load, the BE63 kept everything running smooth, no major slowdowns, no stutters, no buffering or anything, just you know, steady, smooth performance. In total, I had close to 45 devices connected all at the same time without noticing any performance drop in my network speeds. All right, now let's just discuss some pros and cons. So here's what stood out for me using the Deco BE63. First up is the speed. On the five and six gigahertz bands, this thing is fast. Streaming, downloading, gaming, Everything just feels snappy. Second, it pushes signals into spots where a normal single router would fail to do so. The setting up this device is so simple and straightforward. It literally took me five minutes to set up the entire system. The Deco app makes it so seamless and so easy to install and set up these devices throughout the house. And I like the Deco app because it shows me how many devices are connected. I can even go in and you know block certain devices if I don't want them active on my home network and I can you know, go configure many different things on the router. Another benefit is that each unit comes with four 2.5 gig ethernet ports. So you, know, you don't have to buy extra switches or anything like that. You just place it in the room. And then if you have like your TV console 
or even a PC, you can just plug it in and then it just starts working with 2.5 gigabit, you know, network speeds. Overall for a Wi-Fi system, this device is well priced for, you know, the amount of features it delivers. Now here are some cons or caveats, I would say. Everything, I mean, everything is controlled through the app. It is easy to use and navigate. It's fine for most people, but if you're the type of person that, you know, likes to dig in deeper, see under the hood, then you might feel a little limited. But don't get me wrong, you can do pretty much everything through the mobile app. Also, one con is that I wish they offered one 10 gigabit Ethernet port. The 2.5 gig Ethernet ports are great, but this isn't designed for, you know, extreme high-end wired setups. And last thing is that after every software update, you have to reboot the device, which is not a deal breaker, but it's worth mentioning that. So who should consider buying this device? First of all, if you have a home with dead zones or weak Wi-Fi signals, your videos are constantly buffering, you're not able to get full, you know, Wi-Fi speeds that you are promised, then you might want to look into buying a mesh Wi-Fi system. If you're constantly losing connection in certain rooms or your Wi-Fi feels inconsistent depending on where you stand, the BE63 solves that problem with, you know, steady coverage across the entire home and even multiple floors. Second up is if you have a lot of smart devices like tablets, cameras, you know, garage door openers, fridge, you know, washer dryer, those are all Wi-Fi enabled, then this device will be very good for you because this device can handle up to 200 Wi-Fi devices all running at the same time. And third is that gamers who need low latency, stable connectivity, but don't have like LAN connections, but need fast Wi-Fi, then this BE63 will fit that bill just fine. Even under heavier loads, like I showed before, gaming performance stayed consistent during my test. No sudden spikes, no drops, just, you know, I was able to game throughout just fine. Lastly, this device is for someone who has fast internet connection, but is not able to, you know, get the full speed. If you're paying for a multi gigabit service, but never see those speeds in most rooms, then get a Wi-Fi 7 unit and then you'll see the difference. I also went ahead and quickly tested its NAS capabilities by plugging in a single drive to the unit. I was able to transfer files and I got a speed of around 49 megabytes per second write and then 60 megabytes per second read. But this is over a Wi-Fi connection and then these devices are not truly built for a true NAS system. Now let's talk about pricing. At the time of this recording, this device is on a Black Friday sale for around $369, which is a great deal because typically these are going over $450 to $500 regularly. So if you're planning to upgrade your Wi-Fi system this year, do look at this Bidico BE63 and I'm sure you'll like it. Now, quick note, the three pack is $369. If you only require two pack or two devices, then it's $254.99. In closing, I would like to say that the Deco BE63 isn't the most expensive Wi-Fi mesh system out there, but it delivers performance that feels high-end. During testing, it consistently outperformed the standard ISP gateway in both coverage and stability. Streaming stayed smooth, gaming stayed responsive, and moving between the rooms did not break my connection. If your current setup drops signal, struggles with multiple devices, or just feels outdated, this is a meaningful upgrade. It gives you stronger Wi-Fi across your home network without complicating the setup. For most households, the Deco B63 hits the ideal balance, strong performance, modern features, multi-floor reliability, and a setup process anyone can handle because it's so easy to set it up with an app. This is a solid long-term solution that finally brings your home Wi-Fi up to the level that your devices deserve.